excited to share this with you. I have been keeping this secret for so long. So I have wanted a dog for, I don't know, my whole life, but recently I've really had an itching to get a dog ever since I watched my friend Kennedy's dog. His name's Cooper and he stayed with me and Pierce for 10 days. Primarily me. Pierce was like coming back and forth, but I fell in love with him. I fell in love with having a dog. I like loved having a dog in the city. I was walking so much and loved like having that companion when like Pierce has to go back to his house. Um, and it was just the best thing for me. And I realized how much I needed a dog like ASAP. And then I was buying a bracelet from my girl, Brooke. Went over to her house to buy a, a bracelet from her. And she brought out her roommate's dog, Rachel. And this was a golden doodle and her name was Luca. And I fell in love with this doodle. I just knew that this was it for me. I was like, this is exactly what I want. So she told me, she's like, well, you're actually in luck because Luca's parents, like same mom, same dad, just had puppies. And I was like, oh my gosh, send me the breeder information. Like I need to find this out who this breeder was. So I, she sends me the breeder info. I joined the Facebook page and see that there were eight puppies born June 28th. This was like second to last week in July that I reached out. Saw on the litter that there was eight, eight puppies, seven boys and one girl. And I really, really, really wanted a girl so bad. And so when I reached out, I was like, there is no shot that this girl is still even available, that I'm even gonna be able to get my hands on her. And so I reached out and he was like, yes, the girl's still available. I just wanted to really make sure if this was something that was like going to be the best thing for me. So I thought about it a few days. I, by Friday, I had made a decision that I was ready for the dog. I thought about it all week and I was gonna put the deposit on it. So I planned to reach back out to Jim Bates, the breeder of Red Dirt Canines, and I'll leave all the breeder information all that below and talk about it later in this video. But when I reached out to him, or I was planning on reaching out to him the second time, he posted on the Facebook page that there were still two boys available and that he didn't mention the girl at all. And so I was like, I lost her. Like someone got her, it wasn't meant to be. And so then that whole next week, this is like the last week in July, I was started reaching out to other breeders. I was looking into seriously putting a deposit. And then that Friday, I saw that Jim Bates, the breeder, posted a Facebook post and he said that they still had two boys and one girl available. And I freaked out. In my mind, I had already lost her like to someone else twice. I messaged him and was like, I'm interested. So he responded and he was like, I'm literally about to FaceTime someone that wants to put a deposit on her right now. And I was like, there's no way I'm losing her a fourth time in my mind. So I was like, what do I have to do? Like, I'll put a deposit on her right now. I rushed to pay him, put a deposit on it. And he was like, okay, she's yours. And I was just so thrilled. I mean, it just all worked out in perfect timing. It was totally part of a bigger plan. And I'm just so thankful that she, I was able to like get her and find the breeder and it all just kind of fell into place. Um, and I couldn't be happier. So this video is pretty much, if you're still watching, is just a recap of her first 48 hours um, from me finding out that I'm getting her into um, bringing her home for the first few days. So, so excited to share this with you. This has like been such a hard thing to keep from like my Instagram family. I am usually like so active on stories. So you'll be seeing a lot of her in my life and I am so, so thankful that you um, are here and get to watch it with me. So this is starting to feel like so real with her. I cannot believe that we get her tomorrow. It's so wild to me. Um, there's a few things. I had to like rush order everything on Amazon because I found out I was getting her last Saturday and that's less than a week from today, like Friday right now. So I had to literally rush order everything for her. Um, oh, thank God for Amazon Prime. I don't know what I would have done. Um, but. I got, I really think that this harness is going to be too small for her. I feel like I, I ordered a medium 
And this is, there's no way that this fits her. I mean, maybe for like a day, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to return this. This is for like a little dog. Just gonna be a So I can't figure out what to do with the crate situation. I initially wanted her to be right next to my bed so that if she woke up in the middle of the night, um, I'd be able to hear her and she'd feel like more comfortable and safe with me. And I have like a perfect space right next to my bed and the crate doesn't fit. Okay, so here's the dilemma. I My bed used to be centered, like in front of that photo, so everything was moved over a little bit, and the night, like that nightstand was not like so pushed over there. Um, and so now the bed's like not centered with the room at all, and this crate is just ginormous. And it wouldn't be a big deal. Like it doesn't so much like bother me how much it look, how it looks. What bothers me is that there's like five inches of like space that is going to be in front of the closed bathroom door. So now you have like that much space to go into the door and my room just looks so smushed against that wall. So I'm wondering if I can move all of that stuff back over and then put her crate there and then maybe move that fan to that corner. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. These are some of the things that I got her. I had to get her a Frisbee. My dog childhood dog Kenny is obsessed with frisbee so I had to get one of those this is the brand of leash that I got it's called Alcott my mom has these leashes for our dogs and I really just love them I did not want to do a retractable one I also got these little doggy bags and then the, all of these toys came in like a pack on Amazon for like $15 and there's like some that are like squeaky um, this one has like a little bell to it, so they're pretty cute. Hoping she likes them. I feel like I had to get her kind of smaller toys for right now because she is going to be so little um, and she'll like grow out of this stuff pretty quickly, but I didn't want to get her too big of toys, especially while she's like teething and stuff. So put it in a little basket that I got from Target and I'll just keep all of her stuff together. So this is going to be her little toy that she sleeps with in her little crate. And of course, it's a duck because this is what Pierce got her. And he's such a duck hunter that she needed to have a little piece of hunting in her. Getting ready to go get her. Today is the day. Cannot believe that it's finally here. I mean, granted, it has only been a week since she's been mine, but I feel like this has just been the most like anticipated life event. So update on the crate. I did decide to leave it there, even though it's sticking out from the door. Hopefully she only needs to sleep in my room for a few weeks and then we can start to transition her out to sleeping outside, but it's like a temporary fix just for a few weeks. So the crate will be fine there just for now. Okay, when we pick her up today, I'm bringing some of her food in a little Ziploc. I'll link these um, Ziploc bags. They are so nice. They're like silicone, so they're super reusable and sustainable. I'm bringing a beach towel, her leash, some little doggy bags, her little collar that we got for her with her name on it, and this pet stain remover in case there's any accidents, and some paper towels. On our way to go get Sweet Little Miller, we have to drive all the way to Oklahoma. It's like a two hour and 45 minute drive there and back. And we've been in the car so long today. The, what we've been trying to do to pass the time is try to memorize each of their phone numbers, which we did accomplish early on in the trip. But how many couples like know each other's phone numbers? Like with technology nowadays, I feel like you don't really need to know each other's phone numbers because you're not like going up to dial someone's phone number, it's just always there. So um, early in the trip, we were determined to learn each other's phone numbers and now we do. Now we. It took a while, but yeah. <laughs> it did take a while. Pierce could not get mine. I guess mine is kind of complicated. I also have a Delaware area code, which is weird because he's used to the 817 area code that he grew up with, but yeah. Other than that, we're super excited, kind of hungry, did not bring any snacks, and we both really have to pee, so hoping that we can get there soon. I think we still have like another hour before we get there. So. I'm 
dying over her. She is so sweet. This is the cutest little breeder place too, I have to show you. Right now, we're rubbing a t-shirt on her so that we can get her scent for her first night. She's a cutie. She's so sweet. She's the only girl in the pack, weren't ya? She's a guy's gal. Don't fight the ball. She will, yeah, I know. Big lug. Big lug. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You, you, you like to get uh, all. All right, we're just leaving. Millie. Millie. There she is. She is ready to take on the world. <laughs> She's the cutest little marking. It's the gorgeous place we picked her up. It was like a literal farm oasis. <laughs> so sweet. And we are just ready to get her home. Long drive ahead of us. Please pray that it goes well. <laughs> Miller is absolutely out. She is so tired and has been so good in the car so far. She has just been sleeping. Well, gas station break and someone is getting adventurous. Say hi. <laughs> She's finally awake. We were just really impressed with the breeders. Jim and his wife were so nice and you can just tell that they speak so much passion in what they do, which I think is so cool to see that obviously they love what they do and it just shows through their farm. They live on this gorgeous farm. It was so cool to see it like at sunset and they have so many dogs running around that are all just so happy. The retriever that is um, Miller's mom came running up and was like trying to get um, a hold of Jim and like you can just tell that like the dogs really love them and care about them so much and it just like clearly shows just by being there for like 20 minutes. So we couldn't be happier with the breeder that we picked and um, are so excited to see what is to come with them. She is playing with her new duck toy. <laughs> he thinks she's a fan. Here. Just got home. <laughs> she was, she did okay. She <laughs> didn't pee. She didn't, she just tried to like, I think she's just done with the car. She just wanted out. Luckily, Pierce held her, which was awesome. But now, so this is the little car crate that I got her. Um, she did not s sit in this today, but when I, travel with her from now on she'll be in the car crate um, and she seems to like it in there we put her in there while we loaded the cart I have to show you this cart it is the best investment I've ever made and I'll show it to you just fits so much stuff and we clearly need it because this is all the stuff we brought with us and it's the best we just gave her some water she's exploring everything aren't you yeah Place. That's recycling. That needs to go out. Let's get more confident. She likes that she can see herself in that mirror. <laughs> yeah, look, she's jumping around. <laughs> she did pretty good first night. She absolutely loves her crate, which is such a relief. Oh, wants to get down. Hi. She did so well in her crate. I was honestly so surprised. She, um, we, she cried obviously right when I put her inside there. And then throughout the night, she barely made a peep. She was so good. She did cry a little bit at 3 a.m. and was trying to get out. And I was gonna let her wait it out and then take her outside. And she ended up peeing in her crate, which was fine. I mean, she definitely did try to let us know that she had to go. 
so she has not yet peed outside. That's been the bummer. His potty training has not been going as planned at all. She loves to pee inside. We'll take her outside. We'll bring her right back in and she'll immediately pee in the house. So not really grasping the whole potty training thing. Are ya? Huh? But we just filled her up with a lot of water. We're playing outside on the balcony right now. And then we're going to take her back out again and hope that that works. But she had a nice little nap this morning. And she um, she woke up before me this morning. She just played in her crate. She didn't whine to get out or anything. She was just playing with a toy in her crate. So she's done so well in her crate. She's been so easy. And we're hoping the potty training clicks so I'm exhausted. I was up with her so much last night. I'm in desperate need of a nap. And Pierce. Nap time. Wants to go get her. <laughs> He's like, I already miss her. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I miss her too. <laughs> but we have to let her sleep. I've read, like, you're not supposed to wake up a sleeping puppy. Just like you're not supposed to wake up a sleeping baby. So, Pierce will have to wait. <laughs> Not a fan of the collar. <laughs> Big fan of the duck. <laughs> <laughs> so first time riding in the car crate and initially we had it flipped the other way so it was like in the trunk and the seats were up and she was going absolutely ballistic because she couldn't see us or hear us which I think she thought we abandoned her <laughs> and so we flipped it around and now she's fine she's doing great she just wants to see us right you're a happy girl now She's still so angry at us. She gives us these little demon eyes. Oh good, she's laying down now. Aw, good girl, Miller. New favorite thing to do is roll in the grass at Pierce's parents' house. <laughs> she is loving life. <laughs> Rolling around. That's all she does. This is the best she's potty pottied so far. She came out here and potty right away. That's a good girl. Yeah. Eat that stick. Get your knees, Millie! She is a big fan of these slippers. <laughs> Ignore my horrible pedicure. Like, she just rolls. She just woke up from a nap. She just went potty outside. She's doing so good. She is sleeping through the night, loves her crate so much, takes really good naps, and has been going potty outside in the grass. Her favorite toy is her duck. She loves to be chased. And she always has to see mama. Right? We always gotta know where I am. She whines if she can't see me. So we're gonna have to work on that attachment issue, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> but she is having a great first 48 hours home. I mean, couldn't be happier with her and can't wait to watch you grow up, Millie girl. You say bye? Say bye bye. <laughs> say bye bye. Aw, good girl. <laughs>